PT analysis, let's call it rigorous approach. It's actually not very rigorous in technical term. It's just, you know, honoring the calculus, the, 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 the line equation and something like that. Okay, so I will just delete it. And then I will put it there and then like this. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And then same thing, 100. Okay, and then we make like this. We have derivative, okay, and merge dfw with respect to d water saturation. Okay, so it's actually this is derivative, but you can also call you can also calculate it like this. So this one minus that one divided by this one minus that one, right? Okay, it's like this. Okay, and the same thing, we can make a line, just borrow like this. Okay, but later we will construct a real line, not with, not with, you know, not with this shape. And if you want to uh, make a line, you need two points, right? So let's make it SW, X axis, FW, Y axis. The first point is actually at initial water saturation, this one, and the fractional flow is of course zero. Okay, and we can also have this. Okay, to make a line, but we still don't know, right? We still don't know, right? So we cannot make a line here, okay? But I can borrow, I can make a guess using this, the end point here. So let's say I just make a guess. The SW is at 50, and the fractional flow is of course at one, okay? And of course I can make a line using that line. So X like this and Y like that, okay? And then I can make a line here, okay? Or maybe double click charge type, combo, no, this one will be line, and yeah, like this, and this will be, yeah, sorry, or maybe slim, easier one, just show the line, solid line. Okay, so let's do it like this first, okay? That's better. Okay, so let's make it red maybe. And Okay, so we can show the line the equation there. Okay, right? So the equation, so if I have equation like this, y is mx plus c, right? M is the slope, okay, and C is the intersection, or the intercept, sorry, and I want to change it to red as well. And so we get 
the M and the intercept. Okay, so just to make you understand, right? But we can check if we zoom in, do they really touch each other? Yeah, we, we, we cannot see with our eyes because we need to go to infinity. We need to, fair, we need to go to a very, very, very small scale to, to be certain that they, uh, they cross each other or not, okay? But of course we can do the calculation using using math with using calculus and we can also express this curve by using trend line okay and of course we will use polynomial and let's check the order show the display equation on chart and r square as well so currently and i will make it like this Okay, so currently the R square is 0 0.9998, okay? Let's see if we can improve it. Let's say I'm perfectionist if you want. Okay, so this is the perfect line. Okay, so this is the perfect line. And if you are even more perfectionist, you can expand this number to show the decimal value. Okay, so... Okay, so... This good, we have two equations, this one and that one. So when they meet together, the value must be the same. Okay, the value must be the same. I want to change it back to zero. Okay, so good. So when they at this tangent, at this intersection between the two curve, the value between this equation, let me color it that way and then this equation should be the same. Okay, you can do that on paper to get what is the x value, all right? What is the x value that make this line and that line the same? Okay, 